Hello everybody, it's Zephyr 124 for another episode of The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. In the last episode, we went into the past and we checked, uh, well, we explored a whole bunch of places around Labrina Town, or Labrina City, and Labrina Village. And we got a shovel. And we saved the Mako Tree from dying! But now, we're going to go back to the future so that we can marry her because she said that she was going to be our bride. Yep, that's how life works. Isn't life strange? Hello! Link, Link likes the big women. That's just how it works. Uh, it's weird. It's all se it all seems so foggy. I'm forgetting so much. Oh, you, you're... Dovey! Dovey! Oh, she's blushing. Look at that face. She's adorable. She's so cute. Okay, maybe I'll be okay with this. <laughs> Why are you here now? I've been waiting so long for you. <laughs> Don't you remember? <laughs> Hundreds of years ago? <laughs> Dovey, you promised. When I grow up, I'll marry you. So you forget things over 400 years, but you don't forget that. Great. <laughs> That's what you said, Dovey. I didn't say anything. That's what you said. 400 years I waited. 10,000 years! Give you such a kink in the neck. <laughs> but I knew you wouldn't forget about me. Don't you forget about me. Our hearts are bound across time by thread of... What? That's not why you're here. I'm sorry. Listen, I met another girl in the in Holodrum. Her name is Din. We're getting married. I'm sorry. Why would you listen to me? <laughs> Fine. You want to talk about Varen, right? <laughs> Maybe Varen is using Queen Ampy to raise the tower to the heavens. If one of impure heart gains the powers of shadow, this world will be covered in darkness. That's what this is about. To know the past is to know the present. Varen can do as she pleases if she finds dark power in the past. All will go dark! Dovi, you must stop Varen and save Nairu. Must I say it again? No! I don't recall, but I think you need the eight essences of time. Hit the eight MacGuffins of time hidden in Labrina to beat Varen. Yeah, the MacGuffins hold the power to see the truth, and they hold my memory. You won't beat Varen if you can't see the truth. It's a joke in there I could probably make of some sort. With the flow of time disrupted, my memory is fading. What will we do? I'm at a loss. <laughs> but if you find the MacGuffins, I'll remember everything. Everything. And you'll be able to stop Varen. Please do this, Dovey. First, I want you to go to the old graveyard in the east. I hear the first essence is there. I hear the first essence there. I can't do much, but take this. Wow, right off the bat. The ember seeds in the seed satchel will offer light in dark places and burn small trees from your path. I just... I, you know what? A giant tree is giving me a satchel full of fire seeds to burn smaller trees, and I'm not okay with that. You got a seed satchel! Also, uh, yeah, so in the last game, <laughs> the quirk about the Maku tree was that he was so tired because Onox sapped his strength. In this game, the quirk is that she can't remember things because Varen took her memory or something. Anyway, let's get the Ember Seeds out. Also, uh, unlike uh, Oracle of Seasons, where you can, uh, where you have to make the Maku tree bigger in order to open up the passage she starts off that way and there's some sort of dirty joke there that I'm not gonna make but uh, yeah we can go right to the top from the very beginning unfortunately there's nothing here yet because we need to collect essences in order for thing for uh, these like little tree things to open but uh, you can try to you know grind for money up here or something hearts or whatever so yeah there's always that, but we are just going to head straight to the graveyard because there's really not much for us to do right now. Uh, we'll talk to you eventually when we uh, have to, uh, but yeah, so this is going to be open, yay! And now that we have ember seeds, die, tree! Ha <laughs> ha! 
and we get our first chest with 30 rupees. If you do not have a shield because you are playing a regular game instead of a linked game, then that will help you. <laughs> you there's nothing for destroying signs in this game, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so there would be a uh, shield there, but instead we'll just buy a Gasha Seed. Uh, remember when Gasha Seeds were cheap and weren't like 500 rupees? There's the shield. See, so yeah, you'd be able to buy the shield. Oops, sorry. This is Linda City! He's a weird guy by the sea, he just floats in the air. I wonder what he's like. That that doesn't sound good. So yeah, let's explore around a little, because why not? We can't go anywhere that way yet. Or that way, because water. Mmm, I love me some exploration around areas that we can't explore. Okay, I'm joking, we're just gonna head out. <laughs> we're just gonna head out. Because that would waste time. Uh, yeah, so once again, you could just dig around or whatever to try to get uh, rupees. Rest in peace, monkeys. And now that we have the seed satchel, we can go here! Uh, something I like playing between the games, it gives you the items out of order or in a strange order too, like just kind of handing the seed satchel to you. And it makes the games different, it's not just like, oh yeah, so here's the same items in the same order, just different dungeons, whatever. No, it's like a demonstrably different game. And we're also going to see, I mentioned it in my previous Let's Play. Oh good, I wonder who we're going to be using to get to freaking I hate that. Sorry, I distracted myself. Uh, uh, I mentioned it in the last uh, game, but Oracle of Seasons. No way, it's too scary. It's pitch black inside that grave beneath the tree. Shut up, it's no good if you get scared. Besides, it might come out. The ghost. Okay, let's plant another gosh of seed here, because why not? These obviously are not- oh, another piece of heart. These obviously are not the rare spots, but... So, Oracle of Seasons is more action-oriented, Oracle of Ages is more puzzle-oriented, so if that's your thing, well, welcome. This game actually- oh, this one actually has some pretty interesting dungeons. But... Like that one, but we're gonna have to go down here first. And yeah, our first puzzle of the game, oh, it's so cool, is lighting torches to get the graveyard key. Hooray! Obviously, just like the first game, this game is going to start off extremely simply. But that's not a bad thing, really. No, no. No, no. Hi, ghost. You look so happy. We killed your brethren in the last game, maybe we'll do it again. But anyway, yeah, you can't go up here until you get the, uh, the graveyard key, but now that we did... And, like Oracle of Seasons, they don't really have a lot of uses for keys. Like, there's not a lot of them. And, I don't know why, like, they have keys for some things and not others. I guess it just makes it easier to, uh... Make invisible plot walls that way. Uh, yeah, so going down here, that's our dungeon, and that's our ghost. Uh, do I want to do anything else? I want to start the dungeon off in a fresh episode, so... Did we actually get anything in this episode? Yeah, we got the sea satchel and stuff. So, despite the fact that we're only at about nine minutes-ish, I'm actually going to end off the episode here because I, yeah, I just want to make it a, like a clean, clean sweep through the dungeon in, in its own episode. So yeah, this has been Sephiroth Level 4, The Legend of Zelda, Oracle of Seasons. You know what? I'll end off with one thing. I'm going to go kill a bunch of enemies and I'm going to run into Maple because I'm pretty sure, like 99% sure, Maple is in... Uh, the present. So, let's give me a second. I, I'm sure we can find her. After I kill enemies. Somewhere. I'll find enemies. <laughs> Even if they're not there, I'll make them. Ah, it's Tangle! No! Yeah, that's the guy that was floating around that they are talking about, by the way. <laughs> Die. 
And this is an area up here that we can't get to yet either. But what it is... Oh well! Rolling Ridge. Yeah, and Maple actually appears in the... I don't really care. Maple appears in the past and the present in this game, so... You would think that she would recognize us. Ow, ow, ow! Watch where you're going! You just hit Maple, the Great Witch Serum's apprentice! Thanks to you, all this stuff fell out of my bag. The Great Witch will be mad. And I have to get that picture book. Who could have that picture book? Well, it's all made me mad. Let's try to get that gacha seed. So I'm going to take your stuff too. Haha, -ha, got it. Yeah, we came out pretty ahead on this one. You little, I'll remember this. Uh, so yeah, in the linked game, Maple actually gets some interesting upgrades as you go along. But yeah, that is going to end off our episode. So thank you all very much for watching. Um, you can actually, it's probably a good grinding spot, uh, by the way. Just going in and out of Naira's house here to reset the enemies. And uh, wearing the Maple Ring, which, you know, halves the amount of enemies you need to kill, I'm pretty sure. And there are just these three Octoroks here. So yeah, just repeating that over and over. Over and over again. Uh, would probably be a good way to try to get that piece of heart sooner rather than later. Uh, obviously, if you don't have the linked game and you don't have the maple ring from that game, then, well, it's just going to take twice as long and there's probably going to be a better place for it. But since it's easier for me, maybe I'll just keep doing this. And this is a spot to run into her, so, as we saw, so it helps out because it's on the way. And, um, I'm just going to keep you guys hanging in here and have to do another outro, a third outro for this. Because this is essentially what I did, this is essentially what I did at the end of the last Let's Play in order to get the stupid heart from, or, yeah, the stupid piece of heart from her. Just going back and forth, monotonously. Killing enemies and waiting. Also, the sooner that I get that heart piece, the sooner I could take off the maple ring and put on the red ring and be horrifically overpowered, which I'd love to be. Just starting the game off that way. I mean, we're already starting the game off overpowered by having a fourth heart container, really. Hey, here we go. I'm gonna end after this no matter what, don't worry. Of course not. Wouldn't be able to get it anyway because we can't really run. The stuff will have my bag. I'll take the U trap too. This is a good way to get money early on, actually. Ah, uh, you're so. What? How is that a win for you? Oh, because you took my ember seeds. She prioritizes ember seeds over money, and I guess I can't fault her for that. But anyway, this has been Several Tool 4 with The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages. In the next episode, I'll meet you outside Yol Graveyard. For, or inside your graveyard, really, for the first dungeon of the game. Thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, everybody. Bye bye.